as well as listen to us on radio.usu.edu. Aggie Radio. For the students, by the students. Yo, what up? Yo, how's it going? Welcome to the Weird Sox Hip Hop Radio Show. With DJ Keeb and Eddie Lyon. For where it says... But my name is Beat Nick the Diabolic. And I name, my name is Ransom. Here comes the game changer. You're listening now Yo, to the BMP Pirate Radio Takeover Show. We have actually taken Weird Sense, Eddie Lyon and Black Sox, tied them up, and they are in the back of the studio right now. You're here live on the air with Beat Nick the Diabolic. My name is Beat Nick the Diabolic. And... Yo, what up? This is Mad Max. Yeah, Mad we got Mad Max in the spot right now. Uh, it's Raul. Raul's here. Raul's in the back as well, man. How you doing, Raul? Oh, man. You know, I'm good. All right. Cool. We got a lot of good things for you today coming up, man. We, we're going to play a song. I don't know if you know, hip-hop is not dead. Hip-hop is alive and well, but yet it should be. So we're going to play that track right now for you. I'm going to show there real quick to uh, get out of the building because uh, the, the fire alarm <laughs> came on. And uh, our favorite janitor came over and was like, You gotta go! You gotta go! The building's on fire! So, we apologize. Now we're back to the show. Um, Halfway my, burnt. My name, is, <laughs> my name is B. Nick. Say what up, Mad Max. What up, Mad Max? What up, Mad Max? Um, Raul, big shout out to you, man. Thanks for being here. Ransom is in here as well. Turn it down? I don't think I can turn it down. I don't know how to turn that shit down, bro. Anyways. We're going to get back to the show. Uh, we just played Hip Hop Ain't Dead. Nah, it just should be by us, Basement Pros. Um, Ransom. What up, Ransom? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Oh, yeah, I'm good. So we're going to play uh, Game Changer. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Boom. Basement Pros. We're Sox Hip Hop Radio Show. DJ King on Radio. Yo, welcome back to the Red Sox Hip Hop Radio Show with DJ Keith. What up? My name's Beat Nick the Diabolic. Here comes the game changer. That's Ransom. That's my boy Ransom. Uh, Mad Max is in the back. What up, Mad Max? Yo, what up? What up? Yo, so the craziest thing just happened to us. We came to do the BMP Basement Fire Radio Takeover Show, and there was a fire in the building. What in the heavens happened, man? Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for none of that. So, I mean... Oh, we, we, we have an eyewitness account. Yes, and this is it right here. Listen. I'm just kidding, man. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. That was crazy. It was. I mean, I was fearful for my life. Everybody came outside. We even got a video of it. Um, there might have been. I mean, that was just the eyewitness count of the fire that took place. She didn't have no shoes or nothing, Jesus. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I thought I was scared when the janitor knocked on the window. This <laughs> is like this fire. You gotta go. We didn't even know. Yeah, well, we, we I mean, like, is that the fire alarm? And I was like, oh, that's probably just drill. I think Mad Max was just, was smoking in the boys' room again, <laughs> and, and the alarm just went off. I think so. I don't know. Once again, my name is Beat Nick the Diabolic. Danger, danger! This is Ransom, my boy Ransom. We got Raul. Raul's here chilling with us too. Say what's up, Raul. Raul. We said what up. He just he just nodded his head. That's how he does things. DJ <laughs> keeps in here with us too. Say what up, Keith. Keith. Shut up, Keith. All right. Um. What you got going on, Ransom? What do you got going on? Tell us what's up, Ransom, in the near future for you. Well, well, I've got, we've got quite a game changer going on. Right. Uh, and when you came to me with that track, um, we were like, I, I don't believe you were going to do something to that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I'm just really excited to work. Right. I just really want to work, and... Um, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. And if you don't know, the game changer is the last song that we just played. Danger, danger. And that's how it goes. That's that's part of the hook there. Um. Now, we you you got to be really excited about this basement pros uh, natural disaster tour that we're going on. 
Yes, yes. Uh, uh, let me uh, talk. Uh, let, let's go ahead, Beatnik, say something. Beatnik, uh, you know. Yes, it's going to be a really good show. Um, a tour. Um, I'm Beatnik. Um, from basement. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Anyways, yo, big shout out to Basement Pros. They're supposed to be here. Uh, they had some troubles with the with the vehicular unit. Um, they're actually down in the Dog Den. Shout out to the Dog Den crew. The music shop down there, in Knoxville. Uh, shout out to um, Linus Stubbs. Uh, yeah. Oh, shout out to the guy. Ah! Uh, this guy just came yeah. wild And if out. you guys don't know, we have a beautiful window in front of us. And people just come by and do the craziest things, man. It's window the best. Window oh, window. DJ Skittles in the spot. What up, dog? What up? Shout out to DJ Skittles. Shout out to DJ Skittles and the rest of the Aggie Radio crew. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, the Basement Pros couldn't make it up. So we're going to be playing their tracks. We're going to be playing all of their radio tracks, all their stuff, man. Yo, check it out. We're going on tour with these guys. Uh... In a couple weeks, actually. Yes, May 1st. This is coming quick. The Basement Pros Natural Disaster Tour. Right. And you can find all this information on blacklinehiphop.com. Forward slash any line. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> to his page. Go to mine and click the like button. Uh, so I don't have to sleep on the floor. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> we're going to play this, this uh, BMP stuff for you. Right, yeah, we got two. That's my tally on that window. Love, well, it's right just because you're like right in front of the window. I'm closer to the window. This so is of true. Of course, you're gonna get all the way. Welcome back to Weird Talks Hip Hop Radio Show with DJ Key. My, my name's Eddie Lines. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting good at that one. <laughs> oh my goodness, we have a great show for you today. Night Daggy Radio shirt. Yes. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Man, it's getting cold in here tonight. Weird Talks Hip Hop Radio Show with DJ Key. I'm Black Sock. And I'm Weird Eddie. I'm Mad Max the Diabolic. Uh, can I be Ransom this time? I'm Ransom. I'm Ransom the Diabolic. Ah, uh, Sickleberry Finn. Yo, so we just got done doing a show, too, not too long ago with BMP down at Mojo's. In Ogden. In Ogden. And it was a great time. Let me tell you, I had a blast. Everybody rocked it. PNC rocked it. Basement Pros rocked it. Eddie Line rocked it. Uh, Rick Martinez Rye rocked it. Uh, Rye Rye was up there. Little Rye Rye. With Sinful next to him. Right, he's from uh, ICP. I don't know if you know it, uh, that group, but no, not at all. Anyways, um, <laughs> also, Black Lion killed it, man, and we got footage of that. So if you want, if you want to check out that show, just... Uh, Look up uh, one of us on Facebook. Yeah, hit us up on Facebook or you can go to our radio page and check it out. Um, some of the things we got going on uh, this Friday with some local events. Yeah, if you're in Provo, if you're down in Provo, Utah, right down there doing the Provo soak, Provo Uter, Uter, <laughs> the Provo Uter. All right, um, if you're down there, come come out to the ABGs around 8 p.m. and get a signed copy of the pre-sale. Rare Breed. Rare Breed album. Black Lion is dropping. We're dropping our pre-sale album right now. Yeah. Um, that's on the 12th. April 12th. Uh, At ABGs. PNC is going to be there. B-Sock is also on the fly. I saw that. So apparently I'm doing a solo set. It's going to be off the hook. I'm a little nervous about it. But I'm going to get it. Yeah. Because I'm a monster. I told you. We hungry. We hungry. We hungry. We're going to be eating everybody. All the NCs on the road. He followed me. The day to be immediately. I don't know if you know that song or not, but it's a good one. Um, Aggie Radio, yeah! Mad Aggie Radio love today. It is Aggie Radio Wednesday. So if you have an Aggie Radio shirt, please go put it on. Rock it, sport it. Every Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m., you rock that shirt and walk by the window here at the radio station, and I will say something about it. I don't know. I think it was every day. Just walk by. See, man, we just get all these Hello. crazy Hi. things going on around um, Hi, our radio show. Oh, no window love. She hey, like hip-hop today in hip-hop history. We're yes. doing that segment when we come back, probably. Um, I want to give a big, big shout-out, mad love, to uh, G-Life, George Life down there in Salt Lake, doing big things out there with the hip-hop stuff. Big shout-out to B-Side. If you haven't listened to his radio show, tune in tomorrow night and check his, his show. It's off the 
It's not the hizzy to rizzy. But for now. But we, for now, I want to give out. I want to give some more shout outs to our people out in Cortez. I see you tuned yeah, in. Yeah. We love you guys. Cortez, Thanks for tuning in faithfully. And I love you. <coughs> um. Are you ready? I'm ready. He's ready. All right. We're gonna get into the section called <coughs> This Day in Hip Hop History with Eddie Lyon. With Eddie Lyon. Today, April 10th, Q-Tip of a tribe called Quest was born Jonathan Davis in Harlem, New York, this day in 1970. I like Q-Tip. Mm -hmm. Q-Tip, you on point? Yeah. Yeah, all the time, Five. Is the beef on point? Yeah. All the time, Five. <laughs> After moving to St. Albans, Queens as a young child, he met future tribe member Malik Taylor, who would become known as Fife Doll. Fife Diggy. His first MC name when he and Fife would perform routines on Linden Boulevard in St. Albans together with MC Lovechild. On the Boulevard of Linden. He also met future <coughs> tribe DJ Al Shaheed Muhammad, uh. whom he would sometimes perform with as Crush Connection. Africa Baby Band of the Jungle Brothers, whom, Q whom Tip uh, went to high school with, right. uh, gave him his new stitch name Q Tip in reference to his Queens neighborhood. Right. Bam would also rename Tip's group a tribe called Quest, in which would include Tip, Muhammad, Fife, and Jerobi White, as well as introducing the group De La Soul with three groups forming the musical collective, collective known as the Native Tongues Posse. Native Tongues would eventually feature Moni Love, Queen Latifah, Black Sheep, Chia uh, Lee, and the Beat Nuts. Uh, a tribe called Quest was now being managed by Tip's cousin DJ Red Alert and signed a deal with Jive Records and released their debut album, People's Instinctive Travels and the Paths of Rhythm. Boom, 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 DJ Red Alert! <laughs> Q-Tip had been previously featured in the Jungle Brothers recordings Black is Black I'm in the promo. He became the de facto leader of Tribe as his presence and contri contributions were most prevalent. Tribe's debut would become an instant classic and produced the anthems uh, Bonita Apple Bomb. Bonita Apple Bomb. Bonita Apple Bomb. Can I kick it? Uh, yes, you can. You can I kick it? Uh, yes, you can. And I left my wallet in El Segundo. Ooh, you know that song? I left my wallet in El Segundo. I left my wallet in El Segundo. That's how that song goes. It's a good one. The group would follow that up with yet another classic called The Low End Theory, which uh -huh. would be released at the height of what was arguably considered the golden era of hip-hop, circa 1987 to 1992. Back when hip-hop was good, hip-hop. In a world of lame hip-hop comes the track called Quest. Uh, Low End Theory would feature the hits <laughs> Check the Rhyme, <laughs> Jazz, We've Got, and the ultimate posse <laughs> track featuring leaders of new school called Scenario. The low end theory would also contain. Would also Check the scenario. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, keep going. The low end theory would also contain deep social messages and socially conscious themes like date rape, crime, and poverty, and self empowerment. The low end theory would also contain a classic album cuts like "Bugging Out." I'm bugging out. I'm bugging out. Rap promoter. Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> what? And everything is fair. Ooh, that's a good one. Legendary jazz bassist Ron Carter would be featured in the track Verses from the Abstract, along with singer Vinia Moby. Oh. A tribe called Quest would release one more classic set with Midnight Marauders, and char a chart chopper which would feature an array of hip hop artists on its cover, including Words of Truly, which is uh, the person that runs over here in the rap station. Midnight Marauders would spawn, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know his name. Midnight Marauders, that was the would spawn the hit yeah. singles Oh My God, Electric Relaxation, uh -huh. and Award Tour. Mm -hmm. Featuring I'm Trump. on a world tour with my home my man. Mm -hmm. Cruise on the ready with the muck on my hand. I'm on a world tour. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, continue. The group would release two more albums, 1996's Beats and Rhymes in Life, and 1998's The Love Movement, before calling it quits, much to the sadness of the detriment of the hip-hop community. The Roots drummer Questlove even wrote an award-deserving piece for the Source magazine uh. about the history and contributions of the group. In 1999, while under management of Violator, Q-Tip launched <coughs> a successful solo career when he released his debut solo album, Amplify, which produced the monster hits Vibrant Thing, such a vibrant thing, vibrant thing, such a vibrant thing, vibrant thing, and that one, 
That hit. <laughs> Along with the hit beat, breathe, and stop. He followed that up with 2008's The Renaissance and 2009's experimental Kamal the Abstract, which was pushed back for almost seven years. This is the longest segment we've ever done on hip hop yes, history. Yes, this to is date. Ever. This is like the, this is like a fifty page thing on Kids It. Continue. The album's title is a reference to Tip's Islamic name, Kamal Ibn John Farid. Wow, he did great at executing that name right there. <laughs> Which he adopted when he converted to the faith in the early 90s. Q-Tip was reportedly set to release a new solo, al- solo album in 2013 called The Last Q-Tip. Oh. Over the years, Q-Tip... In the world, where there was only one Zulu left, and his name was not Africa Bambada. That was Q-Tip. <laughs> Yo, big shout out to Syracuse out there in Portland listening uh, in. Ah, ah. Anyways, continue. I'm so in love with you, by the way. Anyway, but anyways, go. <laughs> Over the years, Q-Tip has collaborated with a slew of artists, including Prince, Janet Jackson, Jay Z, Kanye West, Mariah Carey, Nas, Whitney Houston, REM, D-Light, The Chemical Brothers, the late great Jay Dilla and Mob Deep. Uh, and Jay Dilla. Miller, the Hoochie Killer, is on there too, dog. <laughs> Both <the> rap representatives. <laughs> <laughs> Q-Tip has, <laughs> Q-tip has been somewhat of a successful actor as well, appearing in Poetic Justice, oh. Shoot Me, Brown Sugar, Cadillac Records, Prison Song, and several other films. Q-Tip has won a Grammy Award and MTV Video Music Award. A tribe called Quest has regrouped several times over the years for tours and live one-off shows, as well as the 2011 Michael Rappaport directed documentary film Beats Rhymes and Life. <laughs> The travels of the tribe called Quest, which documented the group's origins, risk the fame, breakups, and reunions, as well as five dogs battle with diabetes and kidney disease. Q-Tip was also a part of the Umak production oh, squad, oh, 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 oh. which also oh, consisted oh, 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 of fellow oh, 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 tribesmen oh, oh, oh. Muhammad, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Tony Tone, and the late Jay Dilla. Uh, Jay Dilla! Big shout out to Jay Dilla! Rest in peace. The Matt Killer. Um, Is that a zombie that just walked by? <laughs> Q-Tip? That was a zombie that just bounced by. <laughs> Look, he's back. There he is. There he is. Yeah. Dude. Mad window love from the zombie. Have you been killed yet? Have you been killed? Nice. For all you guys that are that are tuned in and don't know what's going on, we have a huge war between humans and zombies. And there's a zombie right here in front of our window. I'm a little freaked out. I don't want to go outside of the station now. <laughs> you can't have Nerf guns anymore, so I can't really protect myself. Yes. I will throw dirty socks, <laughs> black, at, black ones at him. I'll throw dirty socks at him. Q-Tip has one of the most recognizable voices in rap music, as well as being one of the most gifted lyricists and producers in the history of the genre. He did, he actually did, um, he did, uh, uh, Sergio Mendes. Sergio Mendes is this great samba piano player from Brazil, and uh, him and uh, him and uh, the Black Eyed Peas did an album together called Timeless, where they remixed a lot of his just wonderful, wonderful tracks on his own. Uh, and Q-Tip was actually on um, on one with Will I Am called The Toad, and it's just such a great song. It's pretty epic. Have you seen the, the documentary that they did on uh, on Tribe Called Quest? No. And it was like how the whole huge, uh, well, I mean, I, I don't want to get into it or anything if you haven't seen it, but it's a really good documentary. You go check it out. Uh, but right now we're going to play some music. Big shout out. I got, please stay tuned because we got to talk about a lot of people that have been helping us uh, and the hip hop movement here in Utah and in uh, Logan to be exact. Yeah. Big shout out to everybody that's listening right now. I got to play one of my favorite songs and we'll come back. Life Savers. That was uh, This Day in Hip Hop History with Eddie Lyon. Yes. My and, 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 also, and also Mac. Black Sox, because son of a gun. Son of a brother. <laughs> Bro Ham. <laughs> Shaw, dude, Shaw! If you were the god of the water, you'd be Bro Sighted. <laughs> brother. <laughs> All right, now! Oh! I'm going to play a song now. Peace. Life Savers, Halo Higher. Hello, hello, hello. We're talking about it. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. I have BNP. Radio show with DJ Cube on Black Sox. Ooh, I'm weird. Eddie Lyon sense. <laughs> I'm Ransom the Mad Diabolic. I am Mad Max and <laughs> Raul combined. Man, we're so glad to be here. Thank you guys for tuning in and Once listening again. to our little slice of the hip hop. Hi. 
Yeah. Yeah. Once again, shout outs to everybody that's listening. Shout out to Syracuse. Out there in Portland. Uh, she's making <laughs> the sickest logos for Black Lion. I don't know if you've been on our page or not, but yo, you need to check out the logos by Urban Holographics. There's hieroglyphics. That's what I meant to say. Hieroglyphics. We should play some hieroglyphics here. <laughs> I like them too. Yeah. You know, but yo, she's been smashing. Yeah. Smashing. So dope. Yo, if you guys want some some logos done, hit me up. I'll charge you a million dollars and then I'll put you in contact with her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like she is. she is smashing on the she art tip like, right the, now. Like I would have to say the the, the red one with right. all the the red and black splotches and the black line inside the logo. That mm -hmm. is my shit. Jules. <laughs> Your Skittles. That is my Skittles. <laughs> oh my goodness. They I like those too. I like the I like the, actually the Rasta one that we got. No, the Rasta one's pretty good. <coughs> but yo, you can check all those out also on blacklinehiphop.com. Forward slash black stuff. No, you don't go there. But uh yo, man, we got some things to talk about, like this upcoming tour. There's more things in the works. Big shout out to Christian Nava, dude. He's out there, he's fighting people, like he's he a fighter. Is messing dudes up. He's punching babies in the neck bone and stuff. <laughs> like he's like oh, kish, kish, kish. Oh, I'm MMA. Oh. No, but uh big shout out to him and the Alpha Set uh the Alpha Set team, man. They're uh, they're putting in work for Logan, doing the MMA stuff, doing all that goodness. What are hip hop things? Um Shout out to Amber Dustin. Right, right. She's going to be uh, probably doing some modeling with us. Big ups to Tasia Hatch, man. Tasia. Holding it down for the street death Bettys. Um, and then, uh, let's see what else is going on, man. What else is going on? We got a lot of shows in the works. Like yeah, we already yeah. talked about April 12th. Uh, 420. Oh, the 420 show. Yo, check this out. Yes. All my my bud smokers, all my tobacco smokers, tobacco smokers as well. Everybody that just smokes things, yo. Um, <laughs> BMP for our tour and for this 420 show came up with some scratch and sniff stickers. Yes, and if if you're familiar with 420, you should probably know what it smells. It like. smells like weed, don't you? <laughs> all right. Anyways, moving <laughs> on. That show is going to be at Kamikazes. Um, you know, I'll probably be there. I'm sure I'm going to be there. I'm it's pretty sure I'm going to be there, yeah. yeah. Uh, Where, where's Kamikaze? Kamikaze is down. Noggin. Hello. Window love. Love it. All right. Dang, I think that was yours. Yeah. No, no I was think your it was, tally. Was that your tally? Our, no, I think it was our, our cameraman, Rick's. Oh, it was Rick's tally. Yeah. Um, Kamikaze is down in Noggin, Utah. Dog Dean stand up. Um, a lot of other good acts are going to be there. I don't want to read them all off because it'll take me too long and uh, yeah, my mouth we'll is be, dry. We only have like another, what? from licking the scratch and sniff stickers that we have. <laughs> uh, they're amazing. No, I saw them and I was like, whoa, what is this? I instantly had to rub it all over my face and now my face smells like grape sour diesel. Um, <laughs> 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 it's amazing. Uh, right now, it's amusing. But I'm still breaking out in hives. Do you want to talk about this next song coming yes, up, bro? Uh, the Frog. I was just talking about it a little while ago when we were talking about Q-Tip. Um, this is a this is by Sir German. He's just a wonderful, wonderful samba piano player, and uh, I mean just so just so smooth. And uh, Will I Am uh, decided to take on some of his more well known projects and turn them into just these just lovely hip hop songs. Like, I mean, I just have nothing but smooth and loving words to say about this album. Uh, this is actually an album me and my wife. Uh, you know, we listen to constantly. Just and this is this song, "The Frog," is probably one of my favorite songs. Would you say you cook dinner to this song? We do actually. We have we have uh, made food to this. <laughs> you, I mean, like I don't. Can, you guys make love to this song? No, no, this is far too nice to play. Too nice, that good, that grand. Yes, I like it. I like this it. This is "The Frog." Should we listen to by it? By Sergio Mendes featuring Q Tip and Milan. Let's do it. With Toxic Population. With the team on Aggie Radio. Big shout out. Uh, beat me. Hey, yo, 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 Welcome back to the Weird Socks Hip Hop Radio Show with DJ Keith. My name is Eddie Lion. I am Weird Sense, Black Socks, Beat Nick Diabolic, Mad Max, and Raul, and Ransom, all at the same time, right now, on this radio show. And Thug Miss, <laughs> dude. I knew I forgot somebody. Shout out to Thug Miss. Shout out to Thug Miss and Low Key. 
What up, Loki? The YG out there in California. I see rapping. you. Uh, big shout out to uh, Street Motivation Magazine for having us. I know they're gonna uh, be doing a big article on us in their magazine. Oh, Black Lion article. Shh. No, that's a secret. We can't tell them about it. We can't tell them about it. I don't want to jinx it. Secret things in the works. Secret things in the works for Logan City, Black Lion, and more importantly, the hip hop scene out here. We're trying to build it. Craft it, mold it, and smash it into a little jar, like, because that's what's going to happen. How are you guys doing, man? Yeah, good. Mad wind to love. Those are my tallies. Even this guy with the drink wanted to say, what up? What's up, dog? Um, we got some good things for you um, coming up. I know Eddie wanted to talk about some things. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I go, do. Ahead. go ahead. Uh, go ahead bro. For those of you in the upper community that uh, <laughs> oh, go ahead. would like to uh, All right. push it, yeah. You got a burp in your heart, let it out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Um, I've actually thrown up my very own uh, Reverb Nation page. So if you go to ReverbNation.com forward slash 80 line 435. 80 line makes beats now. I do. And they're phenomenal. <laughs> they are bad. I didn't even, I was like, what? I didn't know you were into that crap. We could have been hanging out years ago, bro. Years like, ago. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't know. Now, Whoa! Uh, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah! Syracuse! Yo! I love you. Thank you for that picture. Um, that makes me stand in attention. <laughs> I am having a great time with all of the love and Wow. Love. We got mad fans, yo. I'm just mud, mad love, mud. I can't even talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing that text from Sarah. Mad love. To all of our fans out there, yo, this is the reason why we're doing these shows for you. This is the reason why we're doing cool, kick a stuff. Yes. But anyways, c continue. Yes, I make beats now, and uh, they're pretty good. I actually. You're pretty good. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm making the beats for my uh, solo album. Also, um, making beats for whoever wants them. I. They're bangers. Right. How, how did they, how did they get on to your uh, page? They go to ReverbNation.com forward slash Eddie Lion four three five, or you can go to BlackLionHipHop.com forward slash Eddie Lion, and uh, like there will the page there will be a, there will be a link yes. on there to his reverb, and you can check out all his beats, man. I'm so excited! There's there goes another another zombie, man. They are out full force. Where are the humans? The zombies are out full regalia. Yeah, they uh. No, don't use that word often, regale. It's <laughs> <laughs> smashing, dog. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my goodness. Smashing. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this picture. Wow. I should. Oh, we should definitely go to Portland <laughs> and do shows up there and hang out with the homegirl Syracuse, smashing at the Portland scene up there, killing it with the hip hop. We're doing things, man. We definitely hear Portland us. We're hanging out there. Uh, Portland is actually where our uh, our fellow musician uh, Solo McDowell. Oh yeah, Solo McDowell's out there. Yeah, Solo McDowell, Solo is Matt. He, is he out there right now? No, he's, he's not out there yet. He he will be going back home soon. Uh, just for a little if you while. haven't heard this song, Silly Rabbit, just go to uh, ReverbNation forward slash Black Line four three five and check out Silly Rabbit. Solo's on there. He's from Portland. Yo, when last time I was in Portland, I saw this guy get thrown through a window at this bar, and nobody cared. Nobody cared. It was like, oh, this guy just went flying through a window. Uh, you got a cigarette? <laughs> and, yeah, I was like, like nobody cared. Everybody just kept drinking their beers or whatever. And I was like, oh well, this is, this is kind of a rough spot. In this little area where I was, if you know uh, downtown over there. It's a little rough, dude, at night. Uh, there's some spots that I won't even go into because, like, I mean, there's a bunch of... Hello. Hi. bunch of haters out there. Hello. Lovely. Window love. Yes. Lovely people. Mad window by. love. Lovely people walking by. Um, but, yeah, man, I mean, there's some, there's some Negro haters out there <laughs> uh, in Portland. But, uh, I mean, we're in Logan, so who cares, really, right? None, none like so. Dove Creek, Colorado. <laughs> none like Dove Creek, Colorado. Shout out to Dove Creek, Colorado. Shout out to my homie Grant Hobbs, man. We <laughs> love you, dog. I love you, man. I know we were just drunk having a good time, but I love you. I, I'm pretty sure you apologize, bro. It's cool. <laughs> um, what's up, brother? Next guitar. Yeah! We're going to leave you with a song. What song are we playing right now? I don't know. I got it. I got it right here. I got it right here. No, no. Uh, shout. Shout. Let's do it. We'll Basement leave Pros. Basement Pros, thank you for listening to the Weird Sox Hip Hop Radio Show. We're not going anywhere. We're going until 8 o'clock.
Oh yeah, huh? <laughs> we going to eight o'clock. I forgot. Stay tuned in. I thought we were in an hour. Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Yeah, 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 we're back